Hello everybody, welcome back to Strange Horticulture. We are just at the end of day two. Don't think we have anything else to do, so let's... He follows you with his eyes. Oh, he's so cute. Let's end the day there. And we have another card to pick up. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Crinkle Crags. The book both... Oh, oh, you can go back on... Okay, that's nice. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Oh, this is the same woman from the library. Okay. Well, let's see what this card says. Day three, Sunday. We work on a Sunday? North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. West of Rustland, south of Crinkle Crags. North of... Um, sorry, I'm, I'm going I'm to put you away. There you go. North of Hawkshead. 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 Um, Hawkshead. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. 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 South of Crinkle Crags. Crinkle Crags is there, so it's going to be in E somewhere. East of Lowick. Ah, Lowick is here. So it's going to be east of 16. So 17 will be from that little crease that way. West of Rustland. Rustland, okay. Rustland's there, it's going to be to the west. So it's going to be there, 17... E. E17. E17. Let's see. Yep. I'm going with that one. That's correct. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger and am, am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. And I have two plants. Red and a blue. Fantastic. Let's bring out my book of strange plants. Bright red flowers grow at the end of thin stems. Light blue flowers, that's not going to be that then. Um, the leaves aren't really anything to be... It's not blue. And I think we found the harlequin blue. Yes, we have. Lemon dandy, we found that one. Meek dew, no. It's not a mellow. It's not a mellow glow. Okay, uh, I don't think we have... It's not going to be Figuria, because it's shaped wrong. Ah, dark blue flowers smells like sweet rhubarb. I've seen nothing about smelling like rhubarb. I would remember. Nope, nope, it's... Mm. No. Okay, did we find something about... Okay, yes, we did do the berries and we said it would be um, possibly this one was poisonous red fruits, but I don't know. Right, let's get started for this day. Ring the bell. Oh, our dread has gone down. That is a good sign. Wilbur Miller. I'm looking for a plant, um, a lady of what's it, something or other. Uh, no green-fingered dreyer, that's for sure. 
My mind isn't at all what it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline. Lady of Summer. Hmm. Do you is that the one you really want? Yes. And that is indeed the Lady of Summer. Collect. Pennant. Okay, yeah, I did spell that wrong. Uh we already have this one. I got fennel for some reason. <laughs> Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has long soft leaves. Well, this that dude told us that this was fennet. Do we trust him? No, we do not. So that is staying red. What was the one I just gave? Lady of Summer. Fantastic. Ring the bell. David Shaffer. Ah, the mailman. They're saying the Arda's been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me the Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. Hmm, murder mystery. Let's see what this says. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are, to deter uh, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can help you warm should the weather turn against you. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Where's that? Great Gable. Great Gable. We do have a plant for warming, I think. We have it in the book, at least. Peculiar. Prophecies. Stomach pains, Grimlock, Grimlock has a warming effect. We have not found any Grimlock. Or was that it? Grimlock. Small yellow flowers, leaves are waxy and tough. That might be Grimlock. Should we risk it? I think we should. Great Gable. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sens I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain, unless I have Brimlock. That is Brimlock. Haha. <laughs> Brimlock collector book entry. Sunset. Mount trap. The sunset. Oh. Cr Cap, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> sunset Mount Cap. The Sunset Mount Cap is a type of fungus with domed caps, sometimes called stinking mount cap as a result of, of its unpleasant odour. It is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten. Okay, let's... Grimlock. and we have a plant would you say those are lights or those great greyish blue leaves would you say those are greyish blue leaves where's it gone ah. they do tend to bunch up on each other uh, what was that one about unpleasant odour the sunset. Because this one has an unpleasant odour. And it has a domed cap. I'd say that's the sunset mount cap. Um, mount cap. And the one we just found. That we just found was this one. Grey blue flowers with an orange centre. We do have something about grey blue flowers. Forest fox candy gilded dendra. Harlequin blue. No, that's bushy blue. Lemon dandy. Mm. Long soft leaves.
Winter blue. Winter ball, rather. Not winter blue. Also known as blue aloe or blue winter after its cool blue grey flowers. Yep, yeah, I'd say that's winter ball. Turns out to red. Winter ball. Fantastic. Right, let's put that away and ring the bell. Oh, did I do this? Yes. This Norman Lee. This plant is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. New plant. You've given me a mushroom. It's kind of a strange plant to keep just around the house. A mushroom like plant with red spores growing on it. We have nothing about that. Hmm. Mm, no, we we don't have any mushrooms that I, we haven't identified, I don't think. Okay, let's ring the bell. Simone Green, adorable. Always a pleasure, my feline friend. Yes, he's adorable. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. I have a favour to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out the information on those plants. Eh, yeah, that's fair. I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common trouse, and I know where to find it. Okay. According to Grayson's herbology, it grows in abundance on red pike. I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business, I have business in Sedbur in the meantime. Red pike. Common trouse. Despite being described as common, the trouse can in fact be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance on the slopes of red pike. Nobody knows why. Its leaves have been used for centuries as a balm against eye strain. Okay, this strange book of plants is not very um, friendly to the people who don't live in this area, because they're just going to be reading that thinking, Red pike? What on earth is red pike? What was it called? Common trouse. Okay. Red Red Pike. Red Pike. Red Pike. Red. I don't see it. Ah, Red Pike. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after, which is the the common common thing. Common. Uh, I'm gonna mark this as red just because. I don't know. I I think we're pretty sure that this is the right plant. I don't think the librarian would steer us wrong, but yeah, I'm untrustworthy. Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. That's fair enough, yeah. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad, and the little bugger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. Not exactly threatens to turn them into toads, but you do you. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. I don't have a plant for that. Sorry, <laughs> you're in the wrong place. Anyway, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behaviour in future. Have you got any shimmer lump? Um, I, um, I, I'm not interested in... Poisoning little boys. Verona has been studying the occult and the mysterious for many years. It started as a hobby, but gradually grew into an obsession. She haunts the boundary between truth and tale, seeking out the knowledge that others recoil from. She also brews a lovely cup of tea. Fantastic. Shimmerlung. 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 Ah. Setting off a near blinding white bubble like, well, that seems harmless enough. Do we? I think we did mark one as Shimmerlung. This one. Shimmerlung. Because it has that weird. Shimmerlung? 
plant identified collect sandalwood produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind long thin stems grow among tall leaves hmm. let's change that to yellow let's let's start moving these out a bit because we are getting a bit clogged up here and what did i just find candlewood produces a red flower long thin stems grow among tall leaves yeah i'd say that's just candlewood candlewood hint oh i haven't used any hints yet i'd, I'd say that's sorry cat so that's pretty good going ruth douglas there is a beautiful plant that i've been looking for all over but nobody seems to have any M something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves though. It's meek dew. I don't have that. Hmm. Made up of many smaller florets. I I don't think I found No. Oh, smells like sweet rhubarb. No, that's. Red fruits, long flat leaves. Oh, red fruits. Oh, is this for storing? Let's stick that by there just in case. Many smaller florets. No. Do I know what a floret is? Also, no. Chimlung. We don't have that, unfortunately. Um. Doesn't. I do know you shouldn't touch the leaves. No. This one? Ah, small leaves, delicate flowers. Is that? This might be it. Meek dew. Have I been saying milk dew? I, I, meek, meek, meek dew. Meek dew. Okay, fantastic. Let's just meek you right that is the end of the day so the end of the episode thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i recommend you get this game yourself before you watch too much more of this because this is a very good game i i'm not sure how long this game is but it's worth it even if it's only a little short game because this is delightful anyway i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>